I like to try different chemicals. I like to alter my perception of reality here and there. I don't do it all the time. I'm mostly sober, but every once in a while I'll smoke DMT. If um, we're playing on the same bill as the two guys from Trailer Park Boys and someone offers you a gel tab of acid, I'm the type of guy that'll say yes right before I take the stage. We initially met these glow stick willy guys, uh, and they're, they call themselves hippie metal. They, it's more guitar driven, just rocking like crazy solos. And we met these guys in, in I, mean, I think it was 2015. And they invited Downtown Brown in 2015 to play their festival. And at the time, it was called Willy Fest. Now it's called Willy Town. And we get there and uh, we, you know, we load up our gear and we're just kind of like waiting around. It's, it's hot. There's a bunch of mud. We're waiting to play. And we, Downtown Brown is on the main stage. We actually followed the Trailer Park Boys. Uh, Randy and Leahy did their Cheeseburger Picnic comedy show. And, uh, you know, pretty much the whole comedy routine revolves around how they fuck each other. Um, and on the show, it's implied that they're a gay couple. You know, they break up, they get back together, they break up. But their comedy show, they're straight up like, I'm going to fuck you in the ass later. It, it was really strange because it's kind of like when Ren and Stimpy had the adult version. Ren and Stimpy had the whole their whole run on Nickelodeon where a lot of the sexual kind of stuff was implied. And then they came out with the adult version on Spike TV where it's just like, they're gay and one's the pitcher and one's the catcher. And and that's kind of how this Leahy, Randy and Leahy thing was because on the show, you know, it it it's right out in the open that they're a couple at times and they break up and it's this kind of love thing between Randy and Leahy and, and the liquor. But... Yeah, the comedy show was straight up them talking about fucking each other for an hour. And uh, so we're sitting there and it's the whole audience of the festival is all watching the comedy show. And it's, it's, it's you know, a lot of tie dye, a lot of dirty tie dye and people just people laughing at all of the gay humor from the trailer park boys. It was something else. I remember Buddha from Glow Stick Willie offered me some acid. And I said, well, I'm at a hippie festival and we're... You know, we're playing right after Randy and Leahy. I might as well just do drugs. And I took a bunch of acid and we played our set. And there's a little kid running around in the audience. I remember doing the David Bowie thing because uh, we at the time we were covering the doom, 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 that Within You song from Labyrinth. And there's this little kid running around. I remember just the, the whole running joke about the show is that I was going to kidnap this child. And, uh, yeah, the, in the whole context of the labyrinth thing, the kidnapping of the child and the labyrinth and that song, it really worked. But I'm just thinking in any other, in, at any other show, would, could I get in trouble for saying I'm going to kidnap your kid that's running around the festival? I mean, the humor was definitely thick. The sarcasm was thick, you know, because we were doing the David Bowie grab the crotch thing, big old stuffed package or, you know, is it not stuffed? Like, is that his actual package? Like, so it's huge. But anyway, I'm just wondering, yeah, could I have gotten in trouble? And so, so the acid kicks in, we finish up our set, and I'm tripping. I'm tripping sacks. And <laughs> we're loading our gear off, and all of a sudden, this guy comes up to me, and it's Jim Leahy. It's uh, John, the actor John Dunsworth, I believe is his name, from Trailer Park Boys. And he's, he's kayfabe, he's doing the I'm drunk Jim Leahy like it's a it's a character that he's playing and he's not breaking character but when I went backstage he comes up to me and he comes up to me all drunk being slurring his speech and being Jim Leahy but then at some point in the conversation and I'm tripping balls I'm tripping face he just cuts the act and he's the sweetest most articulate man he's he said I really enjoyed your performance I really liked your vocal phrasing and all the, he even said something like, but then he gave me some advice. He said, yeah. And you, you know, when you're all going hard with the, you could also get, make love to the audience. He, he kind of gave me some advice right there. John Dunsworth. He told me you could be going insane the whole time, but sometimes you got to slow it down. There's dynamics. And he's like, you got to slow it down and make love to the audience sometimes. Bro, da, da, da. And he starts kind of dancing around da, 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 and making noises. Like those are the noises I should make. Da, 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 da. And um, I'm just thinking, 
I'm tripping my fucking balls off. And then I and I look over and there's Randy standing there with his gut out to here. And yeah, Jim Leahy, the character, J John Dunsworth, the actor, and Jim Leahy, the character, he turns back on drunken Jim Leahy and walks off. So that was the time. It was at Willie Fest. That was the time where I met John Dunsworth, a.k.a. Mr. Leahy, rest in peace. And I'm going to put a photo right up here of me meeting that dude. Um, just tripping face. There's a photo right here. In the photo, I'm tripping face, and I'm holding a microphone that's not plugged in, and I'm going, nah, with Jim Leahy, and he's going, Rrr, as you can see in the photo. Yeah, but he gave me some good advice that day. You can't just go full balls hard the whole time when you're doing a rock thing, or when you're doing any performance. You got to show people that you're a dynamic performer. You can go super hard, and you can go super... Blah, 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 blah. But you also gotta do some of the slow fucking sometimes in the in the seductive. So thank you, John Dunsworth, for that bit of knowledge. And uh, I wasn't sober that day. <laughs>